All right, Kevin McCloskey, Ricky Portello with the Warrior Wrap-Up. Ricky, it's the last day of fall, also the last day of the Warriors unbeaten streak. We fall tonight 27-20 to 20 to the Rockingham County Cougars. There's a bunch of happy Cougars, you know, just in front of us. We're watching, and they're celebrating over there. And you know what? They deserve to. They, they pretty much took it to us, especially in the second half. We've talked about it all year on our side. You went in the trenches. They had 51 rushes for 331 yards. I, nothing else. You can't say anything else. Yeah, I mean, you know, to start the game, it was pretty much as expected. We knew it was going to be a tough game battle. We knew they were a running team. They came down, got the opening score. We came back uh, with a nice pass. I think it was this one to uh, Justin, Justin Wilson caught a touchdown pass. We tied it at seven. We came back. We actually took the lead, 14-7. Critical play in the game. I thought, you know, coming down roughly a minute to go in the, in the, in the, in the half, we were have, had all the momentum, getting close to scoring, turnover, and it kind of snuffed it out. We only went in the halftime, 14-7 in the lead. Well, we, we put the ball on the, on the ground too many times tonight. If you're going to beat a quality team like Rockingham is, you just can't do that. Yeah, second half, you know, I don't know what it was. We got the ball first. We couldn't do it. I'm sorry, they got the ball first and, and really couldn't do a whole lot. But from that point on, we simply couldn't stop them. It was five, six, seven, ten yards a pop every time they touched the ball. Well, their offensive line was really exploding off. And then our kids, I don't know if they got tired or what, but they just seemed to their first move instead of submarining. Their first move was up, and they became easier targets to tackle. So, again, but you have to give credit to their offensive line. They did an outstanding job tonight. On our side of the ball, I want, to, I want to mention Justin Wilson. Justin had a fantastic game with a touchdown pass. He had a pass breakup, an interception, blocked a kick, had a couple of good runbacks, and, and just played a whale of a game. Great individual game. I thought Nigel had a great game, too. He, you know, Even though we came up short, I thought he was poised in the pocket, ran a couple of times for some good pickups. You know, it's it's um, it's tough, but the, the Warriors are just going to have to step back, take a look, and come back next week. Yeah, I heard a lot of positive comments on the sidelines. Of course, the, the team was down a little bit, but it was, you know, it was comments that affected, hey, you're a warrior, you don't ever give up. You're going to keep it, you know, keep your head up, and you're going to come back and play. Next week, we got Eastern Alamance coming in. I said this is game two of Amen Corner, as I called it, a three-game swing, which is really going to position us where we're going to be in this conference race. Eastern got hammered tonight by Northern Guilford, so they're going to come in. Who knows what their psyche is going to be like? How do you think the Warriors are going to respond? Well, I know Coach Snuffer and his staff, and they'll have this team ready for next week. There's adversity. Anytime there's adversity, Coach Snuffer is going to have their kids ready for next week. Yeah, and Coach Stuffer was intense tonight. He got more upset than I probably have ever seen him on one of that call in the, in the first half when we scored a touchdown and went up. And Jamie Billings was just simply finishing his block and, and, and pile drive the guy to the ground. We got whistled for a personal foul. And, you know, personally, I didn't think see it, see it that way, and Coach Snuffer didn't either. He got upset. So he's ready to go, and I think the coaches are too. Um, Ricky, do you have any numbers from our side of the ball? I do. We had 25 rushes for 126 yards, most of that coming from Nigel and, and, um, and um, Apple. And then uh, Nigel was 12 for 23 for 187. So, you know, decent stats. It's just the turnovers hurt us. And, and again, their dominance of the trenches just made the big difference. Yeah, that and we, a lot of silly penalties, quite honest. They weren't bad calls. They were just, we were just doing some silly things and getting five yards here, five yards there, setting ourselves in the hole. Um, Rockingham County was you know, sort of in that same situation in the first half. But we'll be back next week, and we're going to wish you all a happy week, and we'll see you here next uh, Friday night. Kevin M. Ricky P., have a good night.